Been there all day. Mike, people are taking turns. They are taking shifts. You can probably see Arthur behind me. He's got a sign in his hands. They want to make sure the city doesn't demolish the gazebo because many of them told me the Smithsonian is interested in it. No, Save beautiful gazebo. Remember ugly truth. That's what these people are calling for. No, they told me they understand the Rice family asked for this to be taken down, but they're here to make sure it stays. What happened here on that day in November was a atrocity. It seems not to belong so much to the city anymore as to the community, and it means a lot of things to a lot of people. And Especially now that the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture is reportedly interested in preserving it. The Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. has expressed interest in um, incorporating this gazebo as part of their African American history project. It's unclear whether the museum wants to move the gazebo to Washington or preserve it in its place. Fluid situation right now, which is another reason why, again, we're really here out here today asking the city, please do not tear this down today. Let's have a chance to, you know, really think about what doing that is going to mean for the community. A community of many who told me this is more than a memorial. It's a lesson for future generations. And while they say they understand the family's original desire to have it removed, they hope they and the city of Cleveland will reconsider. And it hurt. And it still hurts. We asked the Rice's family attorney for a comment. He said, quote, although the Rice family wanted the gazebo demolished, it supports the concept of historic preservation by a responsible institution. City officials did not want to go on camera, but told me they're looking into comments made by Smithsonian employees. We'll bring you the latest as soon as we have it. Live in Cleveland, Tara Molina, News Channel 5.